In this video, we will review how to use Collaborate. You might use Collaborate for a Web 4 class, an online lecture, or for office hours with your instructor. When you log into your Blackboard account and you go to your course, you will more than likely see something that says either live class lectures, live office hours, or something similar. You would go ahead and click on it. Blackboard Collaborate Ultra will load. Here's the most important thing. You want to look down here for the name of the lecture you'll be entering. It might say office hours. It depends on what it is, of course. There's typically a start and end date. This date may take you through the whole semester. They may use one class room for all their lectures, or they may have separate ones listed. You'll know that a room is active for you to enter because it'll be in blue. Do not click on the join room. That'll take you somewhere different. So let's go ahead and click on the class lecture link. You'll notice it loads in a separate tab. That way you can go back to Blackboard if you would need to, to reference something. Now that we're in the course, let's go through some of the tools that are important for you to know as a student. I'm gonna start with the tools down here at the bottom. The first tool we'll start with is the profile or my settings. Click on that. Here you can set various settings. The first thing you can set is if you're present, if you're away, and you can choose um, feedback. Maybe your instructor is asking if you guys disagree or agree on something. You would go into here and click it. Your instructor would be able to tell how you've set it then. And as you can see, it shows I'm agreeing. If for some reason you need to step away from your computer, you will want to click on away. When you're back, just click on I'm back. Here you can set your audio and video settings. If your instructor can't hear you, it might be because your volume is low on your microphone. So you'd go ahead and you would move it here. Notification settings. You can set these that way if someone joins a class or someone posts a chat message, you get a visual or maybe an audio notification that something's been posted. We have them set. So I will show you now what it would look like. We'll say maybe our teacher is sending a chat message to us all. As you can see, we get a visual notification here. We'll go over how to read that in a couple of minutes. If you have any issues in your class, you don't want to click on report an issue here. You want to go ahead and contact the help desk. Mo many of the teachers were going to want you to use the microphone and the camera. To use the microphone, you're going to click on the second button here that says share audio. When it's, when green, it's green, it means your teacher can hear you. You can also share video by clicking here. As you can see, it's going to give you an option to show you your video. You might need to adjust your camera. And then you would click on share video. You'll see that you're in the corner here. If your teacher is sharing video and it's the only one, you will see your teacher over here where currently you're seeing my profile picture. There's a raise hand button. If you have a question, you'd want to raise your hand or if your teacher asks you to raise your hand if you agree or disagree on something. Now that we've covered the tools down below, let's cover the tools over here at the side. The first one is our chat tool. If we click on it, it works just like if we're chatting on our phone through um, text messages or anything else. And as you can see, my message displays. My teacher could answer and other students could chat with me also. We can click on participants. Here we can see who's all in our class with us. Share content. There's nothing being shared. If our instructor is currently sharing content, we will see an item that will appear there. For instance, right now, our instructor is sharing some learning objectives. We can see over here the name of the file. If we have a question, we can always refer to that for our teacher later. We have my settings over here. These you'll notice are the same settings as there with the camera and the microphone. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the panel. If I close out of the panel, you will see whatever is on my screen gets a lot larger. If I'm having issues seeing, I can click on the zoom in, and then I can see what my teacher is talking about, but a little bit bigger. Don't worry, using the zoom in and zoom out will not affect your teacher's screen, only your own. There's one other set of tools we want to go over. They would be up here on this tab. If for some reason maybe you're working from home and you need to use the audio because your headset isn't working, you would go ahead and click on this. Each person will have a unique PIN number when they call in, so don't share this with another student or it'll really confuse your instructor. 
Again, we don't really want to use this report an issue. You'll want to report any of your issues to the Stark State Help Desk.